Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. You would have just only seen my last video where I picked up a whole heap of stuff from David Jones, Mecha Maxima, everything like that. And yeah, I still felt the need to buy more. So for this haul, I am doing my Sephora unboxing video. I ordered a few things using a freight forwarding service and I used someone a bit different to what I had originally thought I was going to use. They contacted me over Twitter when I was worrying about this whole Lorock Mega Pro but I will get into that later. So this is going to be a haul slash review of this new forwarding company that I used and spoiler alert I freaking love them. So this box came in the mail today this morning. It landed in New Zealand uh, yesterday night. So it got delivered to me straight away this morning. I this was posted on the 11th of November and today is the it's the 17th but technically it arrived yesterday. So this was posted to me on the 11th. It got here today. So technically this took six days, like a week, and it's including that we've just had a holiday like a weekend. This took like six days all up to get to me from America to here and I use express delivery. I know I'm going to save myself a ton of money with picking like the slower shipping. I will go for that. But shipping for this was ridiculously non-expensive. Fast forward a couple of weeks. I was looking on Sephora and all of the limited edition stuff. I wanted to get it last Christmas but I never ended up getting any. So I said to myself I'm going to be buying the limited edition stuff. I need to use a freight forwarding company. So I looked at Ship It Too and I looked at their costs and it didn't seem too expensive but it still is quite expensive with all their fees on top. So I then remembered about this company that contacted me through Twitter and I thought well I'll contact them and see, you know, let them know that I'm wanting to purchase stuff in Sephora. Find out what their rates are and find out if they're actually any better than Ship It To or all the other ones that people have been using. Not a lot of people have used Mates Freight. So it was kind of a, it's a gamble using a company that no one has ever used and you can't see a review. So I felt like off the bat I was the first one using it. They have, there were like some reviews and stuff on their Facebook page but... There wasn't anything like I'd never seen anyone like beauty wise use these guys and the website looked really really good. It's so easy to use. The one thing I have to say is that the website is super easy. The order films and everything and understanding the cost of how much it's going to cost to use assisted purchasing. I don't know about you but I look at Ship It To and the, all the information just gets a little overwhelming. I like things very black and white. Don't tell me around about the subject. I need it black and white because otherwise I think well like well how much will it cost sort of thing. Like I said I got my package this morning. It took only six days and I did choose express shipping. Okay so I emailed and asked him what makes him different to other freight forwarding companies and he wrote back to me straight away. The first thing I also want to say about this company is their communication is absolutely amazing. They email you back within the day of you sending them an email and even with like time difference barriers I find it's really hard with being in New Zealand that the time difference can be really annoying when you're trying to email backwards and forwards but he emailed back really really quickly and he was more than happy to help me out and um, really ease me through the process of using assisted purchasing with a company I never used before. So basically I asked him what makes him different to other companies and he said the few things that make us different he said first of all they're located in Portland Oregon so you never actually pay sales tax. They don't charge membership or have any hidden fees. They offer free consolidation and repackaging to make sure your order goes in the best box size box to save you on money on shipping costs. So basically that means if you purchase things like say you purchase off Ulta and Sephora and you're purchasing off two different sites, they will combine the cost, 
they will combine sorry the items from each company into one box for free whereas I know shipper to and other companies they actually charge you consolidation or you have to pay a certain fee yearly or monthly to be able to get that consolidation he also repackages your stuff so that it fits in a box that's more appropriate for shipping costs so he knew I didn't want to pay a bomb on shipping I think he knows nobody wants to pay a whole heap on shipping so they actually repackage and then they but it's like they keep they take out all the extra stuff that says Sephora like stuff and so like they stuff in a lot of tissue paper but my box still has um like packaging that stops it from say breaking so he doesn't pay, pull out everything and it's just all your box all your stuff in a box like flowing around and it will break so he just pulls out all the unnecessary stuff and he does that all for free which I also know that I think ship it to charge for a service like that so basically that's saving you on shipping prior ourselves and personalized customer service we can shop on we can shop for you online or in store some stores like Sephora don't ship to known freight forwarding so in this case we can shop for you and then ship it to you the service also assists our customers who have trouble using the international credit card so I was really happy about it so I put an order through of things I want so my total order price was $292.82 and that is in US dollars um, that's quite a lot of stuff but I was like you know what you can only buy stuff once. So I ordered the products on his website and then he sent me a confirmation email saying that he had received my order form and that they were going to work and purchasing my things. So then they went online and they costed up how much everything was. Then he sent me an invoice through PayPal of how much I would have to pay to the, his PayPal account for him to go and purchase my things, which was the $297. So I paid the pay the invoice on PayPal. Then he got back to me when he had purchased all the goods. He said they were all purchased and everything like that. Um, then I think it took about three or four days for Sephora to ship the products from their depot to him. And he emailed um, to me saying that he had received my product and that he will get them all worked out for shipping cost and everything like that. I said to him I wanted the cheapest shipping option but if I could also have a quote for the fastest shipping option and see if that was still quite inexpensive then I would probably go for the fastest. So when he had my all my stuff and it was all packaged up, he sent me an email and he said that he included a lot of information that I can pass on to you guys. So he included pictures on, you also get pictures of the contents of the stuff in your box um, emailed to you and any extra pictures I think that you want, I think it's 50 cents or something extra. So they send you pictures, first two pictures of your stuff um, for free. He sent me a picture of what the box originally looked and there was like packaging everywhere. And the original box before on arrival, if he was to ship it as is, would have cost me... $52 US and that wasn't including his fee and then he got it all the way down to $25 US by repackaging it. The fee that I paid in to get my package shipped was $15 US. They have a minimum of $12 so say if it's a percentage he takes a percentage of how much your goods cost and then he calculates it. I'm going to have the website down below so you can see all the um, costing and everything. The cost is in like a table format. It's really, really easy to understand. $42 to ship this plus include that was including his fee. I don't think was that bad whatsoever and that was also shipping to New Zealand not to Australia so I was super excited I really really love this service so basically my box came in the mail there's like addresses all I'm not going to show you the front there's addresses all over it so the first things are my samples I got they let you pick out the samples I got the Fresh Lotus Youth Preserved Radiance Lotion with Super 7 Complex and this is from the brand Fresh, I'm guessing. I also got the HD High Definition Primer from Makeup Forever. And then I also picked up the Philosophy Micro Delivery Peel, the Step 1 and Step 2. So I will test them out. I was actually looking at this, but this is like $200. So this is how my box came packed. It has a layer of this bubble thick 
bubble stuff on the top and then it's got a layer of thick bubble stuff on the bottom. So you take off that and then all my stuff is in here. So I will go through all the things that I got. Um, I have actually already taped taken a peek in the box so I wanted to make sure nothing was damaged or anything like that. A couple of things were broken but like he's got the packaging it comes right up to the sides. I definitely wouldn't put it down to packaging I'd probably put it down to the fact that courier drivers are so useless and rough with packaging these days like compared to the Lorac Pro like of course even if someone dropped it slightly that would have smashed but something like this they definitely try to really because not everything is broken um it's only a couple of things of oh, the mirrors are broken but it's not the product so that's all right so the first thing i picked up was the limited edition um christmas bite beauty lipstick and this is the high pigment lip pencil and you got them in so this had a mirror on it but i've already taken the mirror out just for safety reasons so these you get four miniature versions of the Bite Beauty lip crayons and I really wanted to try these out because I've heard so many amazing things about Bite Beauty. So the colours I that it came in was Sable which is this really nice um, pinky colour if you can see that. Rhubarb which is like straight up Kylie Jenner lip and these are so so creamy. And the next colour I got was Pomegranate, which is a red. Winterberry, which is just a berry sort of red colour. Really nice for the autumn seasons. The next thing I picked up was the Smashbox Rock A Legendary Lip. This is a $99 value and I got it for $40. So this comes with three lipsticks, three lip glosses and three lip lacquers. So they are just minis, they're not full size but it's good to like, I wanted to get it because I wanted to see what they were like before I went ahead and purchased them because they are quite expensive. So the lip glosses I got is, this one is in Promise and it's just a really, I don't know if you can see but it's like super reflective pinky gold sort of gloss would be really good to pot in the middle of the lips to make them look a bit more plump. The next lip gloss I got is this red one and I actually haven't seen what the pigmentation of these are like. So these are pretty fairly pigmented, this one there. I'd be interested to see if they are sticky and how long they last. The next one I got is this colour and it is a straight up brown and this is called Cognac but it has slight gold reflex in it but it will be quite nice to maybe pop over a nude colour to make it slightly more browner. These aren't that pigmented and this is in Pout. I don't know even if you will see that but it's like a just a really soft baby pink. I got this one is in Legendary and this is in the red shade. See that one's a little bit, it's pigmented but they're very, they're not as opaque, they're more of like a wash of colour but I don't know, it might be different on the lips. And then I got this one in Cognac as well. So I'm guessing that the lipsticks go with the lip glosses. The next three I got were the new Smashbox, new Smashbox Be Legendary Long Wearing Lip Lacquers. And in these colours I got like the same sort of colour scheme. I got Off Duty, which is just a brown colour. I also got Firecracker, which is a red. And I got Flamingo, which is a bright Barbie pink. So these are just long wearing liquid lipsticks. Um, I haven't tried them out yet but when I do they will definitely be featured in videos so I will let you guys know what I think about them and if I do like them they'll be featured in favourites. The next thing I picked up was a, this is also from Smashbox and it's the Smashbox Photo Finish Lid Primer. This is just an eyeshadow primer and it's got, the application is a doe foot applicator so I like that it's a doe foot because 
you're not wasting product by squeezing it out and then getting too much so I like that it's doe foot. Next thing I picked up was the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blush Palette. Now I have the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette so when I heard that this was coming out I definitely knew that I wanted to pick this one up. This comes with three shades that look like that and they are in the color luminous flush incandescent electra and mood exposure so that is luminous that's luminous flush incandescent electra and that is mood exposure these colors are absolutely amazing i haven't played around with them yet so these will be really awesome to try out i'm very excited and i love this packaging. So the next thing I picked up was from Becca and this is the infamous highlighter in Opal. I So now that I have Opal I definitely want to get um, Moonstone which is the pale, paler yellow gold colour. This is just a, a really nice, can you see that, like a, a golden bronze highlighter. I have quite dark yellowy undertones so I figured that opal would be best suited for me but I think moonstone is quite universal as well so I'm definitely going to pick that one up next. The next two items are very very exciting items. Missed out on getting this last time and I 100% regretted it. I was so angry at myself that I didn't pick it up. I just figured I was like you know what I'm not going to want it. I don't need it blah 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 but this is an amazing value for money considering how much these cost individually and if you can't guess what I'm talking about this is the Amazonian Tarte blush palette when I saw that they were bringing this out again I instantly said to myself I have to get it this time no exceptions and I actually like the packaging of this one a lot better than the previous year one. I know the previous year one was like covered in glitter and I know a lot of people said that the glitter would get everywhere. So I really, when I saw this I knew I wanted to pick it up and the packaging is just gorgeous. Like even the box packaging of the detail of the box is just amazing so gorgeous the colors are amazing i was really worried that this palette would be really dark and not so wearable for me over the summer but these colors are super wearable breathless that's breathless embraced whimsy bash yeah bashful and irreplaceable pigmentation on these is unreal and they are so smooth if you can so happy that I got it. I definitely think this will be a regular thing if Tarte do carry on doing this. I know that they do really well with these and that they sell out. If Tarte continue to do this palette, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be picking one up every year. So the last super, super exciting thing that I picked up, um, this is a very luxurious item and something that I really will treasure more so much then maybe my other makeup palettes. I think this is very like if I'm going out somewhere or doing something nice like my Chanel foundation, I would wear this on my eyes. Just makes things like that. If you're doing something nice to wear something nice on your eyes makes you like with your makeup that's a bit more expensive. Makes you feel a little bit more, I don't know, like classy. So I did went a, I went ahead and I purchased the Marc Jacobs eyeshadow palette and this is in 206 the Lolita. Out of all of them I wanted to get a palette where I could use every day and a lot of the other ones are more neutral but there's ones like the purple ones. So the palette looks like this it's just a very black sleek bullet shaped palette and it's just got Marc Jacobs written on the front there. And then it's got the information about the palette and all the colours on the back. Now, sadly, this is one of the items that got smashed in the mail. Um, I'm just there. <laughs> I'm guessing this is just um, due to post fault with them being so rough. I'm so sick of post services being so rough with products. But um, I'm thinking that I could just put something over it like some sort of glue or something and that just keeps it all intact. 
So I'm keeping this little wee shield over top. There's a little wee shield over the eyeshadows, this one here, black one. I'm going to keep that on until I fix it because I don't want glass going into the eyeshadows. But the eyeshadows were unscathed, which is the most important thing, I think. I, a mirror is nothing, but as long as the eyeshadows weren't smashed, I'm happy. So this eyeshadow palette did cost quite a bit of money, but like I said, it's an investment for me. It's something that I don't do often. I don't ever spend this much money on an eyeshadow palette, but compared to other brands like Tom Ford and stuff like that, I don't mind spending the money on a palette like this, whereas they're the same price as, say, a Tom Ford eyeshadow palette, but yet in here you get... Uh, how many six seven eyeshadows so that's not too bad if you break it down it's not cheap but it's one of those things that you splurge on and the eyeshadows are just amazing like that's the two lightest colors the pigmentation and the consistency of the shadows are just gorgeous and then that's the shimmery shades and then there's this glittery shade in the middle that's so glittery like that was just one dip in. There doesn't seem to be much powderiness with the palette. It's a shame about the glass, but like I said, it's no big deal. It's only in the corner, I think. Just that corner needs to be glued over so that it doesn't go walkabouts. And so that's it. That's all the things that I got from Sephora. Like I said, Mates Freight helped me out totally and just made this whole... This is my first ever purchase from Sephora. And they just made the experience so much easier than what I thought it was going to be. The communication is amazing. I highly, highly recommend them if you are looking for an alternate shipping company to try out. Um, a lot of their fees are free as in the consolidating and you don't have a yearly or a monthly subscription that you have to pay nor do you have to pay for them to repackage your items. If you guys would like to check them out make sure you check the down in the description I've got all the links everything where you can contact them um, the email address is all on the website as well along with all the information about pricing and everything like that I was not paid or I am not getting paid to do this review about them I solely just wanted to try them out and I just really wanted to make sure I got a lot of information for you guys so when I do my review you guys know exactly the pricing and how much it's all going to cost so yeah I really enjoyed this <laughs> of course I did it's my stuff but yeah like I said if you want to check them out all their links will be down on the bottom I hope you guys enjoyed this video I'm hoping you guys are looking forward to seeing all these goodies coming up in videos I am going to probably only use more of the limited edition stuff just through Christmas and January because I understand not a lot of you guys can get your hands on them but like I say with most of my tutorials um, you can take the technique and you whatever color you want thank you again for watching and thank you for subscribing and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it make sure you share it with all of your friends and I will see you guys in my next video thanks so much for watching and I'll talk to you later Bye. It's just a really nice vibrant fuchsia pink color. These are so pigmented, so long wearing. I have worn the purple one already.